All right, guys, for those of you Walking Dead fans, The Sanctuary. Now, not too bad of an Easter egg. Pretty honestly, it's kind of a easy Easter egg, but I would consider this like one of those good Easter eggs to get into. Like if you're like, I want to start Easter egg hunting, this is the one. So we always give our shout outs when we need help. Watchful Wolf, thank you for the text guide. Uh, super useful. Uh, we'll show you more like the visual stuff, but hopefully he doesn't mind if I put this video in his guide um but yeah so with this step number one is just get power turned on i would actually say it's even easier just to open everything but uh for right now the first gun we're gonna get is this uh beretta right here it's actually even though it's 900 which is a little expensive it's a very good gun and it has a lot of ammo the only things we're not gonna do for this um walkthrough guide is the shield parts because there's a ton of locations for them and it's not really necessary as well as um the uh easter uh the music easter eggs sorry uh just because again you guys know copyright you know copyright which way do you want to go probably this way yeah this is probably the best way so i'm gonna open this one jason you want to open this one and then i'll get the one after that and then we can actually get the power right here so we're gonna go all the way through uh to this back door over here and we're gonna open this one for jason you got this one for a thousand <laughs> And then take a right. Or you could just go straight. This goes right through. Yeah, so right here, we're all ready to power. That was actually very easy. So just get however much money that was. And then right here is power. Perfect. But we're going to continue and make our way all the way through. So how much for this? A 1000 as well. Oh, Jason's just going for it. Can he do one more? Can he do it? <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. So I think that's pretty much it for doors, except for like the starting one, actually. I think we've pretty much opened uh, all. This one goes back to spawn. So I think we're good. Before you go into this room that leads to the outside where the crane is, this is where you would build the shield if you are getting the shield parts, which we said we're not going to focus on. Here's your mystery box. This is the outside kind of back part. So we're going to grab the code. So just remember, right here you have a blue candle and then write down whatever number that is. So blue equals, what is that, nine. We're going to go back to power, and in the back of power you'll see this yellow candle, and the yellow candle is a five. Now last but not least is a little harder to see because you have to get up on it. You can kind of see it from here. There's the red one, and the red is two. Um, with that, uh, the red, um, like it's probably easier just to go up there, but <laughs> we got that 2020 vision, as you know. So red equals two, one, two. Blue equals nine, and yellow is uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. All green, this door right here opens. You get a free max ammo, which is awesome. But more importantly, you get to pick up the wrench. Now, when you turn on power, this door opens, which just makes it a lot easier to get to every part of the map. But we have to turn three valves, and that actually unlocks Pack-A-Punch because we are turning off the fire. So one for each fire. So the first one, we're just going to walk right on in. Turn this. There's one. Second one. We're just going to go back outside, take a left, just because we have this door open. Makes it a lot easier. Jump on up, and it's right on this big tank next to Jugs. And the last one is if you go back outside to this area with the truck where the mystery box is, it's right here. Now you should have access to pack a punch. Honestly, we're already halfway on round three. We're already halfway done with the Easter egg, which is massive. But this is where it gets a little dicey, right? So we have to get three fuses. Now, one's pretty easy. We just have to get electric cherry. That one we'll show you. Here's electric cherry. I'm going to assume you know how to buy electric cherry for 2000. But uh, the other two are a little bit harder. One you have to get zombie blood for. And then when you get zombie blood, you have to go over to these guys that are red. And one of them will have the fuse. Uh, each one of these collects a fuse. So I'm going to show you the red locations now. So this is the first one. Second one is right in front of jugs. So you have to get it from that side. As you can see, there's a lot of doors you don't have to open. It's probably smarter that you do open them because this map can get pretty tight. But worst comes to worst, the best place to train is obviously back in spawn. So, uh... Yeah, that's like worse comes to worse. So if there's Juggernog and there's uh, Deadshot Daiquiri, the next one is right here. Here's another one in spawn right at the door. Like if there's the code that we put in, there's another one. Honestly, the hardest one to find, in my opinion, is this one right back here. I think this is the last one, uh, which is back in this corner right here. A lot That one's pretty missable. But So you get zombie blood, just check all of them as fast as you can and grab the fuse. It's pretty easy. Um, so yeah. Um, what can we do from here? I mean, now it's just kind of killing time. I have a zombie blood by the teleporter here. Ooh, Locked okay. Area. Let's see if I can get this real fast. Ready? 
Zombie blood sprint. So, number one, we check them. Oh, this guy had one. Uh, I think I got it first try. <laughs> Which would be pretty convenient, but... Uh, I don't believe the other guys have it. Yeah, so if you saw, it's like a little blue... Blue, um... Whatever you want to call it. A little blue, uh... It looks like a fuse, I guess. It actually looked more like a vial, but... Yeah, so we got off the first one, which is pretty nice. Of course, it was the one that was in that sketchy area that I said that you got to be careful for. But off that, what we can quickly do is we can start, now that we have one fuse, we can put it in the generator. So right here is the generator. We can insert it. And now this is a soul box. Now, it's easier to get this done at lower waves. So uh, it takes a little bit to fill up, but can you uh, save that guy for a second before you kill him? Because now we can also bang out the uh, next one. The next uh, fuse location. We're going to grab electric cherry. So if here's power, grab electric cherry. Go on straight. We're going to the back. Do I have any more pistol ammo? Yes. Just because I don't want to waste any burst. Go, go. We're going to go all the way to the back where speed is. Right here, you'll notice this is a trap that you can't use. So what you want to do, shoot a bullet and reload. Boom. And the crane's going to drop that. <clears throat> Pick up fuse. Now, honestly, I think this is probably the hardest fuse location. But um, we want to go right into here. Insert fuse. Now, as you can see, this is a tied area. Not a lot of room for mistakes. But uh, And then last but not least, we just have to take out the Brutus that's coming. Because we need something that he drops so that we can do the next step of the Easter egg. We're good on buying stuff. Maybe I would like double tap. Like The only other perks you're going to need besides Electric Cherry are double tap jugs and Speed Cola. But besides that, we have to pack a punch a gun. It doesn't matter what gun. We just have to pack a punch a gun. So I'll get that five, 5K. It sounded like the guy that we're looking for already spawned. Once you shoot him, that's when it gets real ugly because uh, he'll sprint at you. Try not to hit him until you've thinned the herd a little bit. Uh, he's actually on Jason, but I'll show you what he looks like in a second. All right, where is he? Let's see him. Here he is. I hear the whistle. Where is he? Yeah, here he is. So as you can see, he's walking. The second you hit him, that's when he starts sprinting. So he takes a lot of damage. I'm going to be honest with you. And I mean a lot of damage. So it's probably going to take all your ammo. Make sure you have some ammo in reserve or like enough money to buy more ammo. And just make sure you take him out. And then once you take him out, we'll show you exactly uh, what to do um, with his ability. It's pretty quick. So this is when you might want to open a door. You have it for quite a while. It's basically the wonder weapon if you had like a, um, it, it's a drop, right? So it's a death machine drop essentially. So you do have to be somewhat quick with it, but you should have more than enough time. Kill him in here. Cause then you only have to go like five feet. Can I get him on me? Okay, cool. I got him on me. He's going for you. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So there's the drop. Jason, take him for a second. Let's see if I can grab this real fast. So you get this bat, come right to this wall. Hit it and grab gold ingot. That's big. The fact that we did that on round five, big. So now we just have to save up for 5,000. So now it's just kind of killing time. And then uh, also doing the uh, uh, soul boxes. So Jason, you want to work on this one while I work on the other one? Ooh, this bad boy's not holding up anymore. Shit. Okay. So it's time to get rid of this. It's nice that we got the max ammo, but we're going to save up for 1,500 so that we can buy the AK. Not the 74U, the big boy, the bad boy, you know? So there's our 15. We're going to run over to here. Obviously, we're going to get rid of the pistol. Right here is the AK-47. Classic. Oh, I think this one's done. done. Sweet. Let's get out of here. If I can get enough points. Yeah, just enough so we can pack a punch. Awesome. Save a zombie, Jason, if you can, please. Nice. Nikolai's return. All right, so since there's very few zombies left, the next thing we have to do is we have to shoot eight teddy bears because we have to get the wonder weapon. So the first teddy bear is all the way in the back, right across from this guy. It's right here. You just have to shoot it once so that it disappears. This is the first one. The next one, if you're looking at where we put the code in, right there, it's actually right on this barrel to the left of the door. It goes straight to where the AK-74U buy is, and then it's right on this little uh, banister here, like this little uh, scaffolding. Next, we're going to go straight back into power, and then it's right here in the cylinder column. Keep going straight. Take a left. We're outside, and then right when you walk outside, it's above the truck. Next, we're going to go into where Jugs is. 
go up and it's under the stairwell right here we're gonna go over to electric cherry and it's right above electric cherry go back into dead shot and it should be out in the distance on there so if we're heading back to the soul box that Jason and I just did, and this goes to outside, this door will now be open and we can buy Daryl or just pick it up. You don't even have to buy it. Daryl's explosive crossbow. So this is an explosive crossbow. Awesome. Not awesome because we have to uh, pack a punch it. So we have to get another 5,000, which sucks. But also you're going to want to start getting your perks pretty soon because now it's going to start getting a little hectic. We're on a really low wave, which is nice. So uh, we don't have to worry about it too, too much. Um, but yeah, so the only perks I would go for the 5,000 first, just because I wouldn't say you really need perks until like round 15. And I think I can get the 5,000 before then. And then we can pretty much, uh, do most of the Easter egg because at, the next step involves waiting two rounds. So that's when we're going to get our perks. In my, I think, I think that's the best way of doing it. So if you didn't get it the first time, the fuse, the first time, or for some reason he spawns every five rounds, we already did it. So I'm not going to go out of my way to, uh, really, uh, like I'm not going to make him run at me if I don't need him to. So one thing you'll notice is he likes to break barricades when he can. So it's kind of nice to have that distraction. So if you're like, Oh man, I really, I know he's walking at me and not sprinting, but I need him off my tail. Just like rebuild the barricade. He'll go destroy it if he's near it. Okay. So let's pack a punch this crossbow. The crossbow is sick because what's also, what's cool about it is from what I can tell, it has unlimited ammo. As you guys can see, maybe there's no ammo pool for it. So uh, you can hold on to this as long as you want uh, and then use the, uh, um, the, uh, infinite ammo to your advantage if you hold it down it does an aoe too so it's very nice but we just want to shoot into this furnace right here to light it up and we're going to put that gold bar in that we got and then now we have to wait two rounds so now is when you want to get the points to uh start getting your perks and as i said the only perks you need are double tap jugs and speed so those are what i'm going to work on so technically that's all done right here if you look it's kind of hard to see right there's the utility room key oh shit i didn't realize he spawned um, give us one second before let's get the wave down to one Jason if you don't mind All right, so now that we have that key to the utility room. There's a little secret area that we just opened um, That's kind of easy to miss because like you, you might not be paying attention You're like, oh, I don't remember that not being there, but if we go past power and past uh, dead shot this is now open and you can jump over it to unlock this door So this is what we use the key for if you keep on going the fuse is right in this box and now we have to fill the last soul box. Now this soul box isn't too, too bad. It's not great. And when you have one of those uh, guys on you, the bad, the Brutus, it could be rough, but yep. Now it's just time to do some decimation, Jason. Now this is when this crossbow really starts, really shines. Sweet, all done. Jason, we can get out. Woo. Hoop. All right, so we're already kind of towards the end, but we have one more lockdown now. All you have to do is everyone has to be on the teleporter back in spawn and we can start this. Now, what kind of sucks is that we don't have a, uh, we don't have a, uh, enough ammo. Like I'm hoping for a max ammo here. Otherwise this could be a little shitty, but I mean, I have my crossbow, which does help, but I don't know how much uh, ammo it's going to take. Now this can get overwhelming. So I recommend killing as many as you can in spawn, but like make sure you can get a max ammo to drop because you will need one. So I tend to have this side while Jason has the other side. So if you're really hurting on ammo, like I'm about to be, obviously I have the uh, crossbow, but you can buy that uh, pistol and then pack a punch it. And it's, it's pretty impressive. Suppose we're not getting a max ammo. I should be okay without it. Okay. I'm not, I literally just have, I don't have that much ammo left. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. And then with that, you get perkaholic and uh, the escape for uh, 25,000 now Jason and I already did that so we'll splice that one in but that's the whole Easter egg It's not too complicated again I think it's a good one for people that are like kind of new to Easter eggs or like oh there's a there's the Walking Dead themed one We should try that first. I think it's a really good map. I think we finished it at 20 uh, You'll see when we splice it in but yeah, I thought it was a great map. So yeah, good job Jason yep. Good job. Jason I'm close
Ready to end it? All players must be present. Be me out. Yeah, that's not too bad. 20 rounds? Easy. Not a bad map either. It's like a fun little Easter egg.